Greetings and welcome to Channel 69 Triple B News. As you might know, Jefferson's varsity soccer team defeated one of their long-lasting rivals, San Francisco Internationals. These games tend to get heated, so we decided to bring on the man of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man himself, Rafa Alba. Welcome, and thanks for being here with us today. My pleasure. You know, it's not easy to get a hold of me, for, but for you, I'm an exception. Okay, thank you. So explain to us, Mr. Alba, how did you feel going into the game? First of all, I felt pretty confident. Why? Because of me, and I know my abilities. Mm -hmm. Even though I got to late to the game, I had to lie my way in there. What do you mean you had to lie? Can you elaborate on that? You heard me right. Coach, if you're watching this right now, please know I'm doing this for you and for the team. So as always, I'm late to practice and to games. I may have had problems that prevented me from arriving at the specific time. I arrived 10 minutes before the second half started. Very responsible. Indeed it is. So I went to coach. I asked coach to put me in the game and he never replied. So I started walking around and approached him one more time and he asked me why I haven't been going to practices. So I had to cover up and say that I was injured. He replied with, I can't play due to the injury. I mean, he has a point. Correct. So now I had to cover up the first lie with the second one. I told him I have been, uh, I have healed a couple days ago and I've been working out on my own at Lubo Spark from 10 to 11 p.m. Seems like he believed me. I don't know. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. So now tell us, how did you feel before and after scoring the game winning goal? So before the game, I felt like everybody was relying on me. Everybody was hoping that I make change to the game. I was under a lot of pressure. But you know, pressure ain't beating me. Okay. I went into the game, it took me 30 minutes less. Go into the box, turn, first touch, that control, crazy, baby girl, crazy. Ah. <laughs> okay, Mr. Alba, well, that's very interesting. Congratulations on the win, and thank you for being today's guest. Okay, and now to my boy Moises with the forecast. Hey, this is Moises back with the weather, and... As of today, it's Daily City. It's going to be sunny. So 4 p.m. at 50, I think, degrees. And then as of later on into the week, it's going to be sunny and cloudy. That's Daily City. And China, as a matter of fact, I got the hat right here. You know. China is going to be windy today and tomorrow. And then for throughout the week, it's going to be raining and cloudy. And, that, and that's in China, you guys. And as in Russia, I got, I got the half of that. I'll get that ready for you guys. In Russia, it is going to be raining and cloudy. There's no sun expected to be till next week, Sunday. And then Texas, I got the half of that too. Yeehaw type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? It is going to be raining till Wednesday, and then there will be a little bit of sun Thursday and Friday, but throughout the week, it's going to be raining. Da, 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 da. Uh, let, let me fix this. Let me fix this, you guys. Let me fix this. Give me one second. Then it's going to be, I think it's going to be, next is going to be Miami. Oh, I got the wig for that. Yo. Oh. Miami, it is going to be sunny. Whoa, with, with um, 64 to 80 today, and it's gonna be sunny till till Thursday, and from from there it's gonna be raining with somewhat still sun. It's weird. It's gonna be hot as fuck. Cause it's Miami. It's just weird as fuck out there. And then in Paris, I don't got the hat for that, sadly. Uh, let me like. I do got the half of that. Let's go. 
in Paris, it is going to be snowing and raining at the same time. Oh my goodness. And next week, no, this week, I'm, I'm sorry. This week is going to be raining Friday and Saturday. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> That's